Aung Da. Welcome. I, I am Gabe Trahan, an approach chancellor here at Cardiff University, and it's a real privilege to be here today to help celebrate this momentous occasion with you. To start, I offer a warm welcome to family and friends and supporters, and to our honorary fellows, and of course to you, the class of 2023. Today we celebrate your extraordinary achievements. Acquiring a university education is no mean feat, so I commend you not only for securing a place at Cardiff University in the first place, but also for the dedication and commitment that you have demonstrated to get to where you are today. This success is only part of the story. Many of you joined us as the full force of the pandemic was being felt. Others may have been a year or two into it, their studies when this occurred. What we and you faced was a challenge on a level not seen since the Second World War. Throughout this difficult period, you, our students, have shown patience and understanding, as well as well-being, de determination and tenacity to tackle whatever was put in front of you. For this, you should be extremely proud of yourselves because everybody at Cardiff University is proud of you. We recognize that for some, you still have uncertain situations. But do not forget, your ceremony today recognizes all the hard work you have put in and the culmination of your journey here with us. You leave here today knowing that you're now part of a very special family, the Cardiff University alumni community. While you've been here, you have been taught by world-leading scholars, some of the brightest minds on the planet. And now it is your turn. Your Cardiff qualifications tell the world that you are ambitious, passionate, and have a brilliant mind. Embark on the next stage of your journey with all of the confidence that brings. For, for some of you today will be tinged with sadness as you say goodbye to Cardiff. This vibrant, colorful, and diverse city that has been the backdrop to your journey through university. Of course, the charm and character of Cardiff is difficult to give up, and some of you may already have decided to stay and call Cardiff home for the foreseeable future, whether that is through work or further study. Either way, as you cross this stage in a short while and step foot outside the auditorium, you will be doing so as Cardiff graduates. Cardiff University will always be your university, and so wherever life takes you, we hope that you become a flag bearer for this great institution and carry forward our values of kindness and generosity of spirit. We ask that you stay in touch, visit us often, and share your experience of Cardiff University with the wider world. For now, I ask that you sit back, enjoy the ceremony, and savour the moment, and hope it will add another special memory to the collection that you have grown during your time with us. And that this graduation will be something that you look back on in the years to come with fondness. I now have the pleasure of introducing Anel Davri. Anel will read the proclamation and a poem by Wales's inaugural national poet, Gwyneth Lewis. Many of you will have encountered Gwyneth's work 
before in the form of the six foot high words thought to be the biggest poem in the world on the front of the Wales Millennium Centre. Gwyneth has been writer in residence at the University School of Physics and Astronomy and is now an honorary fellow. The poem, Education, was especially commissioned by Cardiff University. Education by Gwyneth Lewis. Bydd ia ddeiddio, gwell hâd o wneud, myna geisio, parchad wneud. Traws newidiad fydd y glod, dyddyfodol mentro bod. Learning is a passport that returns you home a better person. It permits you to dare being daring, makes you secure with not knowing everything, helps you welcome some failure, forges an alloy with others thinking. It is simple delight in mind and its motions. Scintillates but isn't deceptive. Admits the joy of institutes. Is the open road to everywhere but bigotry. It's the shortest distance between you and me. And if you're lucky, it never ends. I will now read the proclamation, first in Welsh and then in English. Nerth gwlad eu gwybodaeth. Boed hysbys i holl aelodau'r brifysgol ac ar hyd y lled y byd fod cynulliad o brifysgol caerdydd yn cael eu gynnal heddiw ym mhrif ddinas Cymru. Wrth athlu cyflawniadau'r rhai sydd yn osbarth 2023, fe hatgoffwn o'u cyfrifoldeb i gyfrannu i werthoedd y brifysgol hon. Nod iddynt hwy yw ceisio drwy y cyflawniadau wasanaethu ar lles pawb ymdrechu y sicrau rhagoriaeth ym mho peth ac yn boeni am ddyfodol ein byd. Gwrandewch yn awchus ar ddoethineb gan ei fod yn cynnig gobaith a gwirionedd ym mhob cenhedlaeth. A nation's strength is in its learning. Let it be known to all members of the university and throughout the world that today in the capital city of Wales a congregation of Cardiff University is taking place. We celebrate the achievement of those in the class of 2023 and in doing so remind them of their responsibility to share in the values of this university. It is for them to seek through their achievements, to serve the common good, to strive for excellence on all things and care for the future of our world. Be attentive to wisdom for it offers hope and truth in every generation. Good afternoon. My name is Shreish Goyal and it is my honour to address you as the Vice President Societies and Volunteering of Cardiff University Students' Union 2022-23. May your care ever be for the good name of our university and the well-being of our world. When we embarked on our university journey, the years we had ahead seemed like a lifetime. I'm sure most of you would agree that it feels like yesterday that we were dropped off at our halls of residence, saying goodbye to our friends and family and feeling apprehensive about making friends, fitting in and starting our academic journey at Cardiff. But what at the time felt like forever goes in the blink of an eye and before you know it, you're sat in a cap and gown in St. David's Hall thinking about what the future may have in store. However, what we didn't know then is that we would be leaving Cardiff having become a member of a close-knit and supportive community. When I sat down to think about what made Cardiff the special university it is, the first thing that came to mind was the community that we have built. The Cardiff community is like none other. Whether your time at Cardiff has been impacted by competing in sports team, contributing to a society, um, overcoming barriers or bonding with friends on your course, you became part of a community that has shaped your time here and a community that will, if you let it, shape your time after Cardiff. Being an alumni of Cardiff University opens you up to a network of fellow Cardiff students, some newly graduated, and some who have gone to achieve great things who can help you do the same. 
whether it be by making the most of the rich alumni network Cardiff has to offer, by staying in contact with your friends and peers, or by coming back and visiting the place where you had the best years of your life. That community feeling that Cardiff has given you during your time as a student doesn't have to end today. It is something that you can take with you wherever you go. When thinking about this speech, a quote struck out to me. What matters in life is not what happens to you, but what you remember and how you remember it. No one could have anticipated the journey that you have all had to take to get here, but one thing is for sure. You can be proud that you are sat here today graduating as the class of 2023. I hope that you all remember how far you have come and how much you have achieved at Cardiff. It has been by no means an easy ride for you all, but it's been our diversity that has gotten us through adversity. So whilst the future may look daunting now, remember this moment, take a deep breath, appreciate how far you've come and realize how far you can go. I hope you all go on to remember the journey you've had at Cardiff fondly and keep those memories close to your heart. But most importantly, please remember, you will always have a home here in Cardiff. Dior can vow. Now, da a choice of Kennedy Valve, Colin Reardon, do we East and Kechlor, Privascal Cardiff? It's now my uh, job as Vice Chancellor of Cardiff University to add my own warm welcome to all of you, but particularly to the students in the class of 2023 who are obviously the highlight of the ceremony. And this is the part of the proceedings we now reach where each student will uh, cross the stage, the name will be read out. And you will then applaud wildly, you'll whoop, you'll shriek, you'll make as much noise as you can to celebrate the moment. But my only plea is that once you've done that, can you then quieten down so we can hear the name of the next person so everybody gets a chance. Now, once all the students for each group have crossed the stage uh, and returned to their seats, I will then uh, ask them all to stand. Um, and at this point, it's a tradition of the university for me to speak in Welsh to congratulate each group of students and the Welsh that I will use in English means on behalf of the university, I recognise your achievement with great pleasure. So we will now move to that part of the ceremony and I will invite Professor Warren Barr to present the undergraduates. Just one more short speech to go. Um, I'm delighted to be here today to present the class of 2023 from the School of Law and Politics. I'd like to say, first of all, what a tremendous privilege and pleasure it is to be here with you today as you celebrate this important milestone. It's a delight to do so in person together with your families and fellow students and all those who have supported you on your journey to graduating from Cardiff University. The School of Law and Politics is, as you know, a unique collaboration of experts in law, international relations and politics. Our research explores various real world issues from the historical to the cutting edge of the contemporary, from the situation here in Wales to far flung reaches of the globe. Our research has real world impact, which has been backed by the findings of the latest research excellence framework, which ranks and benchmarks the quality and quantity of research at universities across the UK. This placed our research in politics and international relations first in the UK for research impact. Law also featured incredibly well, featuring sixth for uh, research impact. Research impact is important to you because it's about the real world relevance of the departments, both, both departments research and the power to change policy and society for the better. Graduating from an internationally renowned Russell Group institution is an important boost to your career prospects. Our courses are developed to meet the demands of employers and our teaching is delivered by experts in their fields. As a research intensive institution, all our teaching is research connected, meaning that while you have been provided with a thorough grounding in established methods, you will also have been introduced, introduced to innovative ways of thinking and experimental approaches that have been used and written about by those doing the teaching. This places you in an enviable position in the job market across the globe and, ex and equally puts you in excellent stead if you wish to continue your studies. 
One thing we've learned from everything that's happened over the last few years is we never know what the future holds. Things will very likely change in your chosen professional careers, but some things won't change for you. I'll flag up just three examples of what you should do to plan to succeed. First, the need to be a lifelong learner. For the rest of your career, make sure you commit to always being curious and to asking questions and always striving to do things better. And just as you should always be a learner, you should always be a teacher. Pass on your skills and experiences to your colleagues. The second is the need to support one another as friends, as colleagues, and as professionals during your careers. Kindness to others and to oneself is an important life lesson, especially in the myriad pressures of modern life. And finally, never forget why you wanted to pursue your chosen academic discipline. It will take dedication, tenacity, and above all, talent, passion, and belief to pursue the careers you have chosen or have yet to decide upon. Remember that these are all qualities you have displayed in abundance in your time at Cardiff University, and the most difficult of experiences will shape how you deal with challenges and setbacks in the future, as well as teaching you to make the best of all opportunities. And all of this, I have no doubt, will enable you to enjoy your work and what the future holds. You are the class of 2023, and through hard work, determination, and a strong support network, you have overcome many challenges to reach this point in your journey. You have a story to tell about your university experience like few other graduates in living memory. Your capacity to think critically and challenge honestly, forged by your teaching staff, your classmates and our community, will help you prepare for whatever comes next. This is your well-earned opportunity to take a moment and consider just how far you have come. I thank you for all you have done in your time here, and we in the School of Law and Politics wish you all good luck and every success for the future. Thank you. I, Professor Warren Barr, introduce the Bachelor of Arts for the class of 2023. Chloe Beddows. <laughs> Oliver Elliot Cameron Blackwell. <laughs> Francesca Amber Bryden Dawson. Zachary Evan Dowell. Oshin Hayden Burrell. Emily Holton. Maya Mahi. Mia Nicholson. <laughs> Alice Onion. <laughs> Pamela Abankwa. <laughs> Sadat Ikra Afsal. Tenny Alakija. <laughs> Louis Alcaride. <laughs> Osama Farid Kamas Al Zajala. <laughs> Nelson Amaral. Fergus Andrews. <laughs> Harry Armstrong. <laughs> Nick
Nisha Maya Asher Jones. Alexander Ashton. Emily Aston. Alexander Lewis Atkins. George Roger Augustin. Elliot Bacon. Oliver Badham. Aryan Baga. Samuel Baker. Andrea Ramona Ballon. Finn Bargett. Poppy Catherine Barlow. Max Batson. Luke Pernicki. Zanny Bexley. Anvi Patel. Kyron Jack Blaney. Tallulah Brady O'Brien. Alex Edward Bridgeford. Georgia Brooks. Will Burley. Rod Cadwallader. Robert Callow. Emily Carr. Glory Kefularu Mabaraki. Bryce Kazali. Max Chan. Matthew Chules. Hannibal Clark. Charlie Clark. Scott Coburn. Martha Erin Collar Gray. Eleanor Sarah Cooper. Georgie Cottle. Tamsin Coyvel. Dick Ryan Christiana. Ben Davies. Etterly Morgan Davies. Jewel Davis. Jasmine Davis. Alistair Day. Jasmine Day. Neve Lily Day.
Keturi Nalia Yasmin Detlin. Mohammed Dausa. Nina Dujakovic. Phoebe Rachel Elkington. Charlotte Evans. Lily Adelma Falconer. Samuel Mays Ferguson. Charles Finley. Isabella Florence Jukes. Joseph Flynn. Brianna Sophie Francis. Lewis Edward Fretwell. Isabel Maria Gaggio Quibe. Annabel G. Juliana Olinda Gudinaya Fonseca. Jude John Foden Gradwell. Charlie Griffiths. Chloe Griffiths Woodward. Frederick Oliver Guy. James Hardy. Daniel Harris. Tom Harrison. Tom Hartley. Madeline Harvey. Benjamin George Hatcher. Isaac Hawksworth. Grace Haworth. Alfred Hearn. Ruby Alice Harrington. Claudia Louise Hess. Poppy Hewlett. Archie Hilton Bailey. Marcus Heng. William Robin Hockley. <laughs> Mariam Edier. <laughs> Mikowai Jablonski. <laughs> Daniel Jenkin. Hassan Khan. Benjamin Allen Jones. Ian Lloyd Jones. Nicole Jones. Ruben Jones.
feel kiss. Matthew James King. Charlotte Elizabeth Ann Kirkpatrick. Eleanor Louise Lancaster. Thea Lancaster. Kaia Shan Lawson. Juna Lawton. Emily Charlotte Lees. Beatrice Lillian Lewis. William Lloyd. Krina Sandeep Madlani. Vaidas Maxvitis. <laughs> Sumaya Shazia Sheikh Malik. <laughs> Ellie Anwin McAdam. <laughs> Ewan McClundy. Catherine McNabb. <laughs> Lewis Kirk McQueer. <laughs> Frederick Mead. <laughs> Dan Meredith. <laughs> Alice Victoria Moore. Angela Morante. Archie Cleland Morgan. Sharna Leary Morgan. Morgan Lee Morris. Alan Muhammad. Holly Mulholland. <laughs> Morna Muzawazi. <laughs> Andrew North. <laughs> Ella Grace O'Malley. Finnegan James Patrick O'Neill. <laughs> Isabel Mary Owens. <laughs> Frederick Thomas Packer. <laughs> Benjamin Parker. <laughs> Alexandra Layla Parker Heath. Krishna Patel. <laughs> Charles Penn. <laughs> Thomas Perry. <laughs> Daniel Inestasi Filatoga. Cameron Phillips. <laughs> Johan Rees. <laughs> Lucy Charlotte Pillman. <laughs> Alex Pislaru. <laughs> Sasha Marie Mischewski Plum.
Dominic Poole. <laughs> Hubert Rubinsky. <laughs> George Radcliffe. <laughs> Zoe Radermacher. Zaki Rafiq. <laughs> Ashley Lucille Reed. <laughs> Owen Jonathan Rees. <laughs> Jack Connor Richards. <laughs> Samuel Roberts. Mason Linnell, George Robinson. <laughs> Harriet Rothwell. <laughs> Elizabeth Rose Rowe. <laughs> Matthew Rusher. <laughs> Gurpal Singh Sahotu. Kate Salter, Tom Selby, Jim Seymour, Jack Shore, Romilly Shelbourne. Nina Seaboon Roang. <laughs> Sophia Jade. <laughs> Molly Skates. <laughs> Claire Rachel Slater. Raphael Slattery. <laughs> Henry Slocum. <laughs> Sasquiki Samai. <laughs> Aaron Songson. <laughs> Patrick Saint Pierre. Alice Marie Stenton. <laughs> Elizabeth Rebecca Coulton Stewart. <laughs> Abella Stuberfield. <laughs> William Swift. <laughs> Beatrice Tanaka. Harry Taylor. <laughs> Tara Taylor Deacon. <laughs> Yestin Jack Thomas. <laughs> Matthew Allen Thomas. Alisa Maria Thompson. <laughs> Emily Thompson. <laughs> Catherine Priya Thompson. <laughs> Isabel Thompson. <laughs> Jasmine Thornell. Jessica Tilly. Charlotte Tolson.
Christina Towson. <laughs> Laura Treherne. <laughs> Henry Tinnicliffe. <laughs> Cecilia Maria Turner. Eleanor Catherine Banks Turner, George Ukut, Sebastian Vickerman, Max Wakefield, Jazz Walsh. Ella Warinda. <laughs> no, Lloyd Charles Nicholas Watts. <laughs> Oliver Webb. <laughs> Sean Alexander Weber. <laughs> Sam Welch. Laura Mia Wilde. <laughs> Abby Williams. <laughs> Joshua Samuel Williams. <laughs> Lou Benjamin Welshman Williams. <laughs> Phoebe Wilson. Georgia Wise, <laughs> Hannah Withnell, <laughs> Ben Wright, <laughs> the Vice Chancellor will now confirm the achievement. Would all those who've just crossed the, play, uh, the stage please stand? Those who are walking can stand where you are if you want. Ar anna bi fasgol rwy'n cydnabod eich cyrhaeddiad gyda phleser mawr. Llong y farchiadau li. Many congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, Professor Urfan Khalik, introduce those for the graduate diploma for the class of 2023. Darren Bush. <laughs> Morgan Davies. <laughs> Heather Davies. <laughs> Jordan Ritchie Dibble. <laughs> Zachary Elsie.
Annie Haff Griffiths. <laughs> Megan Ellen Hughes. <laughs> Jason Kit Ledger. <laughs> Sam Medini. Brittany Murphy. Matt Parkhouse. Imogen Parsons. Raya Parsons. Benjamin Probert. Ewan Pratt. <laughs> Annabelle Rees. <laughs> Charlie Ross. <laughs> Anna Scarborough. <laughs> Madeleine Spencer. Rebecca Stone. Emma Taylor. I, Professor Urfan Khalik, introduce those for the postgraduate diploma for the class of 2023. Riza Binti Ahmed. Musa Anvad. Abby Elaine Bolsh. Kaylee Blanks. Lowry Brown. Sarah Louise Carpenter. <laughs> Mohammed Jahangir Choudhury. <laughs> Rhiannon Lucy Davis. <laughs> Rian Jane Devonold. Reese Gittins. Kelsey Greenwood Penny. Emma Hendy. Sehar Hussein. Sarah Jones. <laughs> Hu Yin Mak. <laughs> Rebecca Murray. <laughs> Rioni Jane Powell. <laughs> Courtney Nicole Solway. Hannah Mary Thomas. Adele Watts. Sunia Zaman. I, Professor Urfan Khalik, introduce those for the degree of Master of Economic and Social Studies for the class of 2023. Jenna Abulil. (laughs) 
Neve Arlott. <laughs> Eloise Kaladukos. <laughs> Yusra Chaudhry. <laughs> Ella Davies. Nick Davis. <laughs> Nachiket Dus De Uskar. <laughs> Odessia Kaylee Dowd. <laughs> Jesse Zoom. Callum Lay Evans. <laughs> Dominic Evans. <laughs> Helid Fleur Evans. <laughs> Daniel Jeremiah Farrell Flynn. Caitlin Emily Louise Gould. <laughs> Mary Patricia Geldart. <laughs> Darcy Greystock. <laughs> Gwen Ann Hammett. Leonard Harley. Matthew Hawkins. Joseph Heath. Gavin Howe. Charlotte Jones. Tom Kingsbury. Elise Lavender. Owen Leakes. Lara Evans. Charlotte Ann Maddox. Kudze Maruta. Olivia Mockford. Stella Wanjiru Natu Ridu. Shonid Lydia Nikolic. Matthew Noakes. Tellery Owen. Griffin Philippi. Ariana Riccardi. And Harad Thomas. Marshall Tisdale. Reese, you and Trevor. Ella Tristan. Larry Tidder. Fergus Cluellen Turtle. (laughs) 
Rhys Samuel Griffiths Underdown. Hayley Walter. Samuel Webber. Holly Elizabeth Williams. Isabel Wing. I, Professor Urfan Khalik, introduce those for the degree of Master of Laws for the class of 2023. Lauren Adams. Adam Mehmed. Helleth Louise Ainsworth. Per Lily Abina Koyakweye Anin. Katie Ann Byrne. Karis Bishop. Gia Le Bong. Amy Bamford, <laughs> Jessica Clear Bradley, <laughs> Caitlin Brazel, <laughs> Alicia Bunston, <laughs> Beth Cave. Amber Chapman, <laughs> Rosie Culpin, <laughs> Millicent Mila Ruth Clark, <laughs> Karis Ellery Cox. Brianna Stacey Daniels. Fern Dempsey. Georgia Erasmus. Abby Evans. Mark Foster. Jade Gage. Isabel Golton. Caddy Griffiths. Becca Glane Hayes. Emma Jane Higgins. <laughs> Olivia Megan Higgins. <laughs> Joseph Hill. <laughs> Alice Holloway. Gwendolyn Megan Jenkins. <laughs> Emily Rose Jennett. <laughs> Said Madi Adib Kukun. <laughs> Caitlin Clowett. Lee Ki Ying. <laughs> Eleni Ligku. <laughs> Megan Limburn. <laughs> Lee 
Tibby Gracelock. Hannah Olivia Martin. Rebecca Morgan. Alwen Nia Morris. Zachary Joseph Nicholas. Alicia Rook. <laughs> Olivia Letitia Jane Rooks. <laughs> Sang He Yi. <laughs> Laura Annabella Thomas. Kaya Tegan Ruth Williams. Magdalene Wong Su Hua. The Vice Chancellor will now confirm the achievement. Would all those who've just crossed the stage please stand? Arana Brivas Goloroin could never take her head yet, get a flesher mower. Longer I leave. Many congratulations. Thank you very much. The following students to be presented have achieved a doctoral degree, and in recognition of their achievements and research, they will be presented to the presiding officers who will doff in return. I, Professor Urfan Khalik, introduce those who have received the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Abu Bakr Abdul Qadir Al Kali. <laughs> Harry Tinumu Conway. Vice Chancellor will now confer the award. Aranabrivaskol, uh, let me start again, sorry. Aranabrivaskol, Roy Kunabade Kerhadia, get a flesher mauro, Slongvreachia Daini Lee. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, good afternoon. This part of the ceremony celebrates distinguished people for outstanding contributions to Cardiff, Wales, and the world. But before I introduce 
our honorary fellow this afternoon. There are two other people on this stage who also deserve special recognition. Today is the last celebration where our pro-chancellor, Dr. Gabe Traharn, is presiding. Gabe has served Cardiff University as a member of the University Council since 2008 and as a pro-chancellor since 2016. Gabe Diochenka. He knows it's coming. Today is also the final celebration for our Vice Chancellor, Professor Colin Reardon. Colin has been Vice Chancellor for 11 years. We have calculated that he has, in this time, seen over 100,000 students through Cardiff University, including probably about half of those coming across this stage. So today, Colin Reardon, this is also your graduation, Diochen Faryan. <laughs> now we resume our regularly scheduled program. Today's honorary fellow is Neka Akadolu. Like you, Neku will be recognized and rewarded. Her success is a part of your success today. Dimagovli in Nodi in Hedmagev on Bachder on Diach Orfgovloino, Kamradoriedai, Agrave er in Frida. Neka's recognition is given through the award of honorary fellowship. Sworn in as a silk in 2022. Neka Akadulu is one of only seven black female King's Councils in the UK. She is a... She's a master of the bench at Middle Temple, and she is also a proud Cardiff alumna who took her first two Cardiff degrees in 2001 and 2002. After today, with three Cardiff University degrees, she'll be a triple threat. Neka's accomplishments are inspirational, and perhaps even more so because she hasn't always chosen well-traveled routes. She left high school without A-levels, to work in retail and restaurants. Her legal journey only began when she tried an access to legal studies course in Tower Hamlets, London, then gained a place at Cardiff to read law. At Cardiff, she failed her first year exams twice before taking a year out to prep for a reset. <laughs> Now, after passing those exams a year late, she followed a sweetheart to New York City over the summer and fell pregnant. Neka made it. <laughs> Neka made it through year two and delayed her exams while she was heavily pregnant. Her baby daughter was just a few months old when she passed her second year exams first time around. She went on to complete her studies. I want you to imagine this with a babe in arms, depending heavily on the university nursery, her family, and her own considerable wits. She secured pupillage at the prestigious Five Kings Bench Walk and became a practicing criminal barrister. It remains happily unclear whether the bar ap appealed to her because she loved crafting and arguing a case or because she loved the chance to dress up in a 500-pound wig and fancy gown, usually accompanied by fabulous shoes. Today, Neka specializes in criminal law, prosecuting and defending clients in the most serious cases in the Crown and Appellate Courts. She's a highly respected jury advocate. Her practice encompasses all areas of serious crime, including murder, drug trafficking, and serious sexual offenses. She has particular experience working with vulnerable defendants 
and witnesses. She has also represented members of the armed forces and their dependents away from the Crown Court in court martial proceedings. She is a fierce proponent for increased diversity at the bar and is a sought after author, speaker, and commentator. She even squeezed in a recent visit to Cardiff to give an inspirational career talk to law students. NECA, you clearly pay your own successes forward. When NECA was awarded a silk, her sister tweeted, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And NECA tweeted right back, not quite finished yet. <laughs> NECA, for you, as for all Cardiff alumni, including the freshly minted ones here today, your university will be cheering you all the way to your finish line and beyond. So I will now present this distinguished individual who is to be awarded an honorary fellowship of Cardiff University. And Andre Davis Iskan Hazor, Kavloinov Ihi Neka Akadolu, Uderban Umgumraud, Er Anrade, Previskol Kaidi. I need to say my bit. Trawl a dirt a rodo di mi gan a cangor, dirt bunny a fee that come round a dan hradef, prevascal kair deed. Congratulations. Regrettably, we feel, Mrs. Akadulu, that we have now exhausted all options with NECA. Unless we see a vast improvement in her behaviour in the next five weeks, we will have to consider removing her from the school. This is an extract from a letter from my then headmaster that I found in pristine condition kept by my mother dated January 1991. We have exhausted all options with NECA. She's no longer with us, so I'll never truly know, but I'm convinced that she was saving it for an occasion like this. I limped through those five weeks and left school with an unimpressive set of GCSE results and no A-levels. I am one of six children of strict Nigerian parents and like many African families, they expect you to be one of four things, a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, or a failure. <laughs> I was definitely careering towards the latter. But my academic comeback started when I was aged 20, when I realised that my dream life of living away from parental pecking, paying all of my own bills, and buying my own food was in fact no dream at all. An access to legal studies course followed at my local college. And the feeder university to that local college was Goldsmiths in London. But I had a Welsh boyfriend at the time, so it made complete sense to me to pack up my life and apply to read law and politics in Cardiff. To the surprise of absolutely nobody, that relationship didn't survive even the summer before 
I came here. <laughs> but my love of Cardiff has been enduring so many happy memories, never leaving home without an umbrella. Welsh cakes, the Owen Glendor, seeing Ninja banging on dustbin drums on Queen Street, the Student Union, lunch at the Woody, drinks in town that would invariably end with food down Chip Alley. But it's fair to say, as you've heard from my orator, that I didn't give myself the easiest time whilst I was here. I failed my first year twice, thank you for highlighting that, <laughs> and then had a baby in my second. And I credit the university for supporting me in navigating my way through the rest of my degree and then bar school straight afterwards here. I was fortunate enough to secure pupillage in London and have practiced in criminal law ever since. My career highlight was being sworn in as Queen's Counsel in March 2022. I am you all 22 years ago. Well, not quite you all, I wasn't clever enough to get a doctorate, but I am most of you, <laughs> 22 years ago. And my advice to you all really is this, moving forward. Be fearless. You may experience adversity. You will experience rejection. But allow yourselves to see the possibilities beyond any obstacles that you face. Some of you may want to go into law, some of you may not. And despite the unprecedented disruption that you had at the start of your time here, you will all, I'm sure, leave here with lifelong friendships and lifelong memories. I want to say a special thank you to the university for this prestigious award. I also want to thank them for giving me the support and the confidence to have the balls to pursue and excel in a career I never imagined possible. Thank you. Elsa said, congratulations. You are now part of the Cardiff University alumni community of over 210,000 graduates. Cardiff alumni are great global citizens. Some are activists and are high profile. Others are quiet, solid contributors to their communities. Cardiff will have given you more than just a degree. You've been encouraged to ask questions and challenge conventional wisdom. You have shown willingness and determination, the real hallmarks of a Cardiff University graduate. The word heroith is made for moments like this. It conveys a sense of place, of love, of longing, of memories. We hope that you will keep Heraith in your hearts for Cardiff University. Before we close the ceremony, there is one last Cardiff University tradition I would like you to keep. While today is all about your achievements, it's not something you have done alone. You have been supported by your family and friends throughout your degree. 
So can I now ask all of the new graduates to stand? Everyone in the hall has made a lot of noise for you. Now it is your turn. Please make even more noise to say thank you to all those that supported you. film welcoming you to our Cardiff University alumni community. Enjoy the film. Sorry, sit, sit down please. <laughs> Enjoy the film and at its end please stand as the platform party leaves and your ceremony comes to an end. Thank you for joining us today. Congratulations once again. Longa Bartiadai in Waiteto. Take a look around you. Be well ochi. What do you see? Class of 2023. Today we take stock of everything we've achieved and say thank you to those who always believed. So scroll through memories, come with selfies, get our besties, and stand up straight for the photographer. Say cheers. Today we remember how we got this far. The late nights and bright lights and moments we didn't do as well as we might. Today we're rewarded for all the hard work. This started way back with the first steps we took. Dropped at Taliban, Sing Henid, Aberdeer, and Aber Conway. Igano refreshes. Here we've got shavings. Here we've got bobin. Nes canvas prinjai ois in Nindi I hope team. First dates. Soulmates. I'm going to start crying at this rate. Today we're part of something that's hard to describe. The new class of an old tribe. A tradition that'll be there our whole lives. A network that continues to help us thrive. Years from now we'll see someone with a badge on their tie. Or hear people on a bus shouting. Cheese drive. And we'll remember where we came from. Where we came into our own. Where we made our mark. Canvod Kavchev where we found a home. Today we make noise like it's the varsity game and count ourselves lucky we found people with the same interests, hobbies, be our full modernist born in folly. People who tried to shelter us with broken brollies. People who helped us find our limits and push them out of the way. People who helped us get to this point. On this day, Today is a day we mark everything we've shared. A day we tell people just how much we cared. That they were always there, even when they couldn't be. Rather than Gwibod, a day I ate our high level in. For all the long hours we've had to put in. We still had those nights that went right through till dawn. And days we dug deeper than ever before. So here's to those late night revisers and early risers. To sunny days that passed by in Butte Park. To that special someone who gave us that special spark and helped us to grow, to transform, to dream. Today's for that someone we're proud to have that in team. What happens tomorrow is whatever you choose. Go make news or break news that absolutely refuse to be told that can't be done because we've only just begun to make records and break records and make history and break history and say the this is the world I want to see. 10, 20, 3 day, 40. Years from now, you'll look back on today and realize you've been by your side the whole way. But right now, right here, let's savor the moment and say, congratulations. Let's get the celebrations underway. Take a moment, look around you. Be well, what do you see? We're Cardiff University. Welcome to your alumni community.